station is Platt Square. Do you value all human life? Some more than others. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Depends on what I stand to gain. And to take the life of a loved one? What a provocative question. I think I could only answer that in the moment. Are you capable of suicide? I can envisage a scenario where that would be the best option. Yeah. What is your greatest fear? Retirement. I'm absolutely useless at golf. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? This is my normal life. We mean your life outside of work, your attachments, your family. Whatever was required of me. Even years? What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over. Mina! M Mina Hughes! Excuse me, I'm quite busy. I I'm Amy, Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Sandhurst. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then, I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Uh, have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend in person. Well, this is me. Are you going up? Oh. No. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. See you've met Amy. They keep getting younger. Promising recruit, that one. Yeah, put her in the mix and you'll get anyone talking just to get her to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast-tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast-tracked where? 
The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. Where is she being fast-tracked to? Advanced Dynamics, your section. You don't mean I have to manage her? No. About bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. Why the special treatment? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process, same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on time. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir. Come for a checkup, have you? You gonna let me in? Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. If all you've got is talk, I'll find someone else. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. Oh, my babe saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. 
Anything I can help with? Sure. Can you disappear one of my colleagues? I need a professional. Can't trace back to me. Oh. How about a back rub instead? Yeah, I'll have one of those. But later. Is Dylan asleep? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. <laughs> It'll do. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, just reading. How's Grandad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? Right, 500. You can't expect someone my age to have a memory as good as you. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. I'm sorry, darling. You know that it's hard for me to always get away from work. But I'll make a special effort next time. I'll put it in my diary and underline it in red pen. OK, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. Nice try. Come on, Dylan, lights out. Mum's tired. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs>